to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. morning. All right. So let's just dive right back in to, to this royal <laughs> storyline. We, can, we can't stop, won't stop. And that's because, well, they won't stop. Prince Harry putting it all out there in a 60 Minutes interview. What's your take? Oh my gosh, I didn't think he had any more dirt left to give us, <laughs> and he does. I cannot wait for this book because last night he gave quite the interview. He talked about how he and Prince William begged their father not to marry Camilla, which is like this huge, like, what? What happened? And my favorite part is that he refers to William as Willie, because I guess that's his family name. So it seems very condescending. But in his book, and then also in the interview, he alleges that because Camilla had such a bad image within the press, that what they would do is they put positive stories out about Camilla, and then they'd put negative stories out about Harry and Meghan Markle to distract from that to try to make uh, make Camilla look better. And so he said they went and begged him, do not marry her, you know, have a relationship with her, you're happy. Uh, but that Prince and now King Charles was like, mm -mm, I'm gonna do what I want to do. And he still went on to marry her. And now she's the queen consort. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it, I just feel like this is like every family argument over the last couple decades but on a much grander just scale in a <laughs> very juicy tell-all book it's a lot well, what the biggest thing is, is he still feels like he's going to be able to reconcile with his family. He's like, I look forward to one day, you know, working on our relationships. There are, there's no way. Like in his book, they brought out a specific point because Anderson Cooper did the interview where he brings up that Prince William is balding and that the older he gets, the less he has their mother's good looks. Like that's just petty. That's just a Pretty low petty. blow. Like there's <laughs> yep. no reason to bring that in other than you are mad and you are getting revenge. And probably the most bizarre story to come out of it is I guess Prince William wanted a beard when he got married and he was told no you may not have a beard and so when Prince Harry went to go get married he talked to the Queen and because of his anxiety the Queen said he could keep his beard well Prince William found out got mad and was like no you must shave your beard off for your wedding and Harry was like I mean, the queen said I don't have to, oh and he gosh. disappeared, and that was like a big like point of contention throughout the entire day and leading up to the wedding is William was mad, and he says throughout their childhood and growing up that William would refer to him as the spare, and that when they went away to school together, William told him to pretend like they didn't know each other, I which mean, everybody knew they knew each other. Anyone who has a younger sibling has has made that comment before, like, we're, yeah. listen, we're going to the same school again. I was a I was a senior when my brother was a freshman and mm. I, in high school, and I definitely was like, don't talk to me, like, we're really? in the same school, which was, which was such a stupid thing for me to say because he was so much more popular than I was anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, it just, it's, some of that sounds like just classic, like, sibling yeah. spats that I just wonder, like, do you really need to put all of this out there, especially if you hope to reconcile with Here's, day? can I just say real quick, I've said it before, and I'll just be devil's advocate, like, he, there's, there, he's making money off yeah, it. Yeah, he's you got know, books like, to sell. It's, it's not like he's just doing this out of goodwill and good nature just to be like clear of the air. I'm sure there's a part of that. I'm not like, I'm not taking either side here. I'm not taking either side no, here. No, but that's a good point. He doesn't have royal money anymore. Yeah, he's, he's about to be cashing in a pretty solid check from, yeah. from all of this. They did ask him, why are you airing all of this out if you want to reconcile in one of the interviews? And he said, because everything that the royal family was doing was behind closed doors and nobody would ever own up to it, that they were just leaking headlines and leaking stories. And so he's going to sit down and just tell you to your face what's happening. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, Prince Harry. <laughs> and I'm excited for this book, but I usually like to read. I'm not a big audiobook person. Uh, I'm getting this an audiobook because I want to hear the pettiness in his voice. I want the inflection <laughs> as he talks about how William is balding. I need that drama. That's so great. <laughs> oh, man. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, go I ahead, mean, Mike. while while we're here, allow me to pile on because my brother did the same thing to me when we were attending the <laughs> University of Massachusetts together, and he's been bald since he was 24. He's my <laughs> older brother, so I could take these shots. I never bring it up, but if Harry's going to do it, so am I. You know what? <laughs> I love this level of pettiness. I haven't read a book since Kurt Cobain's biography start to finish back in high school. I think I'm going to invest in this. 
Wow. Okay. That's saying something. 2023 yeah. is the year where we all decide to air all of our petty family drama. <laughs> <laughs> put, it, put it in the book. All right. <laughs> hey, so uh, Travis had the chance to go see Megan over the weekend. This this movie about this like creepy robot killer. Um, what were, what did you think about it? <laughs> it's just weird. It's so <laughs> weird. It was entertaining. It was entertaining. It had I, a shockingly good opening at the box office. It, it's you guys. crushed at the box office. Yeah, it made $30.2 million. And since it did so well, they're already saying, yes, there will, in fact, be a sequel. Uh, they said, oh. and you've seen it, Travis, that it's scary, but it's also kind of campy. Yes. Where it's kind of like making fun of itself a little That's bit. That's exactly what I said to Emily earlier okay. this morning. It does such a good job of like leaning into the funniest parts of, of that genre. Um, and they don't take themselves too seriously, but there are some moments that have you on the edge of your seat for nice. sure. So okay. they do. Well, a, we're almost a good job we're almost it. out of time, but since we're on camera and you saw the movie, do the dance, do the. Robot oh gosh, dance. it was like a, it was like a, <laughs> what is it's like here? Adult, it's like she does this dance before she like kills here. somebody. It's like here. So there you it's go. Like, if you don't have a chance to see that it, that right theater, there is worth the price of go. admission no alone. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta go. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Bye, and you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.